Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn what is PostgreSQL indexes. So before understanding what is a PostgreSQL index, we, we will go with the layman language like uh, what is an index in a book. So if you have to search some item in a book, uh, which is a paper book. So if you look at the index of the book, it is very, very easier and faster to identify the required uh, page. So whatever information you need, if you need, uh, if you are aware of that, you can uh, go to that page number directly with the information which is available in the index page. So using the index page, it is easy and fast to access uh, the required section of the book. Let's say if the index page is not available, in that case, it is going to be very, very difficult to find the required information from the book. The same concept applies in PostgreSQL indexes as well. So PostgreSQL index provide great uh, performance gain when the data is arranged in a table. So a table which is having the data and an index is created, then uh, the select queries with the where clause, you will be able to find the information faster and uh, in lesser time uh, as compared to uh, when an index is not available with the large amount of data and uh, you know, when you have some predicate. Uh, there is a downfall as well if if you are uh, using a table uh, which has uh, uh, index and you are doing some insert update in that case the operations will be slower that is the behavior because the index is there if you create or uh, drop an index from the table then there is no impact on the data for the obvious reason and if you have to create an index you just have to fire the create index command these are the type of indexes available in PostgreSQL. You have B3, which is the default uh, index, and it is applicable for the types that can be sorted. And hash, it is used for uh, somewhere where you have to use some um, handles the equality only. So let's say greater than, lesser than, uh, those kind of operations. Then you have third type of index, which is GIST, and it works well for non-scalar type, let's say geometrical shape. Then you have uh, a fourth type of index, which is uh, SPGIST, and uh, this is for a space uh, partitioned uh, GIST. GIN, it is uh, suitable for the complex type. Then you have the BRIN, it is a new type of index, uh, which is used for some sort of uh, min and max value. What are the disadvantages of using the PostgreSQL indexes? The PostgreSQL index should not be used on the columns that has a large number of null values. And it should not be used if the tables are very, very small, there is no performance gain, and we should not create uh, indexes for the columns, which are very often deployed. And we must not create indexes for the tables uh, with frequent and large update or insert operations. These are recommendations. Sometimes you will have to live with, uh, with this. This is the create index uh, command. Uh, so you say create index, index name on table name. And then you mention the table where uh, column where you have to put the index. So this, this we already have seen B3, hash, GIN, GIST, SP, GIST, and brain index. So we'll see the details about the indexes. So how do we create the index? So uh, to create the index, you should have a table available. So uh, let me log into PSQL. You can see this, uh, there is a warning so that, that there's some kind of uh, uh, misconfiguration here. So just ignore this. So what I'm going to do is I have a table student. I'm going to drop it. So I'll say drop table student cascade. And this is going to drop the index, uh, sorry, table and the related uh, structure as well. Now we are going to create a table uh, with the name in a student. It has uh, four columns. So just you see the the how it looks like so you have a student id student name student address and a student phone so just insert five rows in that rows are inserted and just say select star from a student so uh, four columns five rows <clears throat> now oh, we are going to create a basic index on the table so we'll say create index 
and then there is a concurrently uh, keyword that means don't lock the table and then you have uh, the uh, index name on on the table name and in bracket you have the column name let's create this this is created so i'll say di plus so you can see we have created a student id index which has a type index and during the creation of the table there is a primary key index which is created now we'll uh, see how to create different types of indexes first let's drop so the first type of indexes b2 index so these are the default indexes if you do not mention that uh, create b3 index so by default this will be created and they are very flexible and that comes with the operators and the data types and this is a good choice for uh, most of the application so let's drop the default index which we created now we will explicitly say create index and uh, concurrently then you have the index name on this is the table name using what type of uh, index you want to create you want to create b3 index on the student id column so let's create this this is created and i just say di plus you will say that uh, this is created and now we are going to create the second type of index which is hash index hash index can only handle simple equality comparison if you have to do some kind of comparison so you can use the hash uh, uh, type of index so let's create the index which we have already created which is b3 index now we will explicitly say create hash index so it is create index then the index name then on table name using hash so that's the keyword which we are using to create the hash type of uh, uh, index and this is created now let's define it now you can see that uh, we have created uh, student id index and uh, then the third type of index which is generalized uh, inverted index so gi index is most useful when we have data types that contains multiple values in a single column so for example the student name having first name last name and middle name so for this example we can use it like this so this is gin generalized inverted index so let's create drop the index which we have already created which is uh, hash type of index and now create create index gin on a student and then we will say using gin so this is the type this is the third type and we are saying on what column we are saying on stud underscore name so let's create this index and if we have to define as it created or not let's say so we have created gin student name index fourth type of index which is gist which is generalized inverted search tree it is uh, very useful when the data is in geometrical format it is also known as generalized uh, search index so let's drop the index which we created in previous example and we are going to create it uh, we're using create index index name on table using gist and then we will create it uh, this is created and now let's uh, define it so we'll say slash di plus so this is created uh, so we are just saying the basic operations involved with the indexes and uh, their their importance with respect to the kind of indexes available in postgre the fifth type of index which is uh, gsp gist which is space par partitioned generalized inverted search index it is most useful when the data is in clustered element or clustered format sixth and the last in the series is brin brin which is block range indexes when you have large number of natural clustered format data is there in that case you have to use brin so we are going to drop the index which we created in previous example so it is drop index and the index name is this one for the last example let's create the index so we'll say create index brin student id on student 
and uh, we are doing the uh, brain index on a student ID let's create this and this is created and then just uh, define it so we'll say the I plus and this will show brain student ID index is created so this is just the basic about the different kind of indexes which are available in Postgre and the most important one and the very frequently one are the B3 and the hash indexes but there are many more uh, um, there are total six so according to your requirement you should be able to use those indexes I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks